I say keep walking, keep <laughs> keep jogging, whatever. That's Bobby Krim's advice to these two. 91-year-old Harry Binder and Daryl McKee, who is 81, received the first ever Lionheart Awards for the oldest participants in the Krim. Binder will walk while the playful McKee will run the 10-mile course with one target in his sight. I'm glad to see there's some doctors here because, you know, we have a lot of old people around here. <laughs> Several generations of runners were represented at today's Krim kickoff, including Grand Blank's Grant Fisher, who's headed to Stanford on a track and field scholarship. Because my first race was actually uh, at the Krim. I'm a proud Teddy Bear Trout alum. Uh, so I have three young daughters who eventually will uh, be fellow Bobcats like Grant, and I told them I was. Uh, going to speak at the press conference and go after Grant Fisher. Oh, Grant Fisher, he's so hot. Um, so they said, could, could you get his autograph, Dad? So just like Grant's popularity, this race's popularity is growing. As a matter of fact, organizers say once we get to the finish line on Saturday, they expect a record number to participate. And more than a quarter million people will be downtown watching. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM, TV5.